Hi everyone. Welcome once again to Reasons Now Told, video blog by Ray Behenting of RB Subbo Game Foul Technology. Topics discussed here are from the online course Practical Science of the Game Foul taught at Advanced Game Foul Academy. Now, for today's topic, here's your host. Our topic today is about locking genes. Lock the genes is a phrase often used in game foul breeding, meaning to maintain the genetic composition of a particular generation by a brother to sister mating. However, like many other game foul breeding terms, locking genes is an inaccuracy. How can you lock genes with a single brother to sister mating? For example, you have a 50 to 50 cross between a hatch line and a gray line. The users of the term say that you lock the genes by mating a brother and a sister out of this mating. Yes, the resulting proportion of the offspring's blood is still 50 to 50 hatch and gray. But the genetic composition or the entire genotype is not locked. The inbreeding coefficient of a full sibling mating which is 25% means that it is estimated that the offspring of said brother-sister mating possess 25% identical genes by descent. Take note that only 25%, the 75% are not identical by descent. These genes were not locked. The idea of cloning excellent individuals by the so-called lock the genes misnomer is just not viable. It is a product of lack of understanding of the science on how genes are inherited. Breeding full brother to sister will only maintain the proportion of the bloodline names, not the entire characteristics. Locking the genes is one of the many inaccurate terms in game foul breeding. It is understandable because in game foul breeding many wrongly measure purity by bloodline names. A mating between two members of a particular family is a pure of this particular bloodline. For example mating a Travis Clark Kelso to another Travis Clark Kelso is a pure Travis Clark Kelso. Of course measuring purity by bloodline names is wrong, but this is what most are doing or it is their understanding. In genetics it is called inbreeding for the purpose of making many genes in the line homozygous. If the good traits are homozygous then 100% of the times these traits will be passed on to the next generation. In genetics purity is measured by homozygosity of genes in simple traits and preponderance of desirables in polygenic and quantitative traits, not by purity of bloodline names. And, you can only fix traits by repeatedly breeding individuals with the same traits over a number of generations, not by a single brother to sister mating. Till next time. Keep following Reasons Now Told, an audio video blog by Ray Bianting. Averbase Ugbo. Game Foul Technology.